Hi guys, so um, today we're going to be um, implementing first the code that allows us to point with a mouse to wherever we want. Um, so basically that orientates the turret with the mouse position. This is something that we had working and we and it stopped working when we created the new component tank shooting component. And that's alright. Uh, tank shooting controller, sorry. And that's alright because we, we changed it to make it more um, um, uh, well to, to, to be able to uh, reuse the components better modular to make it more modular I'm sorry and um, yeah so that's all right uh, but, but we lost some, some functionality that we have to implement now so um, It's going to be part of these. This um, this component should uh, include some. Yeah, it has some aim turret. But it's currently not doing anything because. Um, sorry, this is the controller. The uh, tank controller is the one who should have something to tell the. Um, the, the shoot controller where to aim. So let's do that. We're gonna add a um, function, so a private aim with mouse. So basically that's that's what it does. It gets the mouse position on the screen, if possible calculates the target position in 3D. And it passes it to the shooting controller. So the first thing we need is the mouse position. Is uh, the mouse position actually a, th mouse, a vector 3 instead of a vector 2? Okay, this may sound surprising, but I think that well, X and Y are the uh, X and Y position on the screen, and the Z. I don't know if it's something related to the mouse wheel, or I'm, I'm not sure. I should probably check it at some point. Anyway, this is the mouse position, and with the mouse position, we can get um, um, Corresponding ray in three D. So okay. One thing that you may have noticed is that this has a uh, warning saying that it hides an inherited member component camera. By default, any component, any mono behavior, and any mono behavior drives from a uh, component has a camera um, property, which basically allows us to access the camera component in the same AIM object. Uh, we should avoid using that one, I think, because it's probably going to be deprecated at some point so instead what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing this camera we're going to rename it for cam that's it Even name cam and 
that's it. We got the ray, and with the ray, we um, have to calculate a point in 3D at the height of the turret. So, in order to do that, in the XZ plane. So basically, we're going to be um, calculating a, uh, um, a point at the height of the turret in the XZ plane, where, it, where this mouse, so this the ray is, is colliding with. Um, there is, this is a very simple one, because the um, XZ plane is Y equals whatever. So, um, in this case, y equals uh, this. That's the um, the the um, analytic equation of the plane is going to be y equals turret height. So that's our y, and we just have intersect that plane. So as long as the um, ray is not parallel to the plane we can calculate that and let's first check Basically, this is the dot product. The product of the ray would be basically, well, actually, if this is bigger than epsilon, we can calculate it. Because as long as there is a y component in the ray direction, then we are gonna be, um, so as long as the, ray com as the y component, the direction of the ray is bigger than zero, or lower than zero, it's gonna. This is, this is gonna be uh, colliding with the um, with the plane. So um, then we just do so height minus the uh, ray origin y. T is going to be y div divided by right direction y. And now, if t is variable than zero, because um, we it's a ray, it starts in zero and ends in infinite, but there is there is no negative values for the ray. Then we just calculate the point. t times right of direction. I'm not sure if this is the same as get point because it says distance. Um, it should be the same as long as the direction is normalized, but uh, you know, I uh, just don't know, I don't want to get into how it's implemented. I don't care. And pass it. Target point is target post. There we go. 
So now we've got the aiming with the mouse implemented and hopefully it's gonna work. Let's see. Oh uh, no. That's right because the tank doesn't have the main camera assigned. There we go. Looks like it's working. It's working. Very good. So, um... I think that's um, that's what we wanted to do in this video. We could add. I don't know it goes as fast as it needs to be, so we could add some delay to how fast this zero can move, right? Maybe it's about time we do that. So we're going to do this. So it goes slowly. Let's do that, let's do that. So that we have that implemented and then in our, in our next video when we implement the shooting, implement the shooting of the AI, it's already there. So it's the tank shooting controller, the one who's gonna be doing that. So this is the shoot angle, load time, muzzle. Let's add a maximum turret angular velocity we could have it to further 90 degrees maximum is 90 degrees per second this is going to be very slow so the full turn of the sorry 360 turn of the turret is going to take four seconds it's it's quite a lot it's going to be it's going to make the tank feel a bit sluggish at least the turret a bit sluggish which is kind of what we want and later we can change it to make the players turret go faster and the AI turret go slower or whatever so basically we have a maximum velocity that we can get um, that means that we have to consider the turret is only going to be aiming in one uh, direction is going to be so it's only going to be aiming and rotating around the y axis, which means that, um, that we only have to uh, orientate in that direction. In order to move at certain velocity, we, we're going to have to stop using the, the, the look at and start using the angle. We could use the Euler angles, but I don't like it. I don't like it because um, using the Euler angles uh, basically uses the, uh, the angles as they are calculated by Unity. And this may or may not be um, in the format that we want. I mean, we can later change it and make sure it's in the minus uh, 180 to 180 degrees or whatever. And but uh, but again, it may not be exactly the way we want. And also, uh, we have to calculate the angle to the point we want to go to. So that means that we have to calculate it in the same way that that Unity does. And I'm not sure what is the way Unity does it. So instead, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, um, calculating uh, the, that ourselves. So. That's the direction, that's cool. Set the direction and the angle to target is gonna be the uh, the angle that of that vector which 
basically the arc tangent of the of the I mean here we have the sine and the cosine we're assuming we're in the xz plane and we are gonna be considering the sine is in the sorry yeah the sine is gonna be in the c component so c x so the only thing we're gonna be doing here is before uh, then here if you need to target a skewer magnitude over the math epsilon if the direction is basically zero zero we don't do any calculations actually no we don't we don't aim but that doesn't mean we don't move the turret So the angle to target is that one. Um, what else? Calculate the current angle. Remember that these angles are in radians. So we can create the angle, the current angle. Calculate the angle difference. Angle to target minus current angle. One of the things that we're gonna be doing is unnormalize this angle. So we're gonna be adding a simple function here. Normalize angle, which uh, index basically. So basically, we convert the angle to degrees here. We pass it to the normalized angle, and we um, so we got a normalized angle difference. So, how do we normalize it? If the angle is lower than minus 180, the angle plus equal 360. If the angle is bigger than 180, angle minus equal 360. That way, it's sure that the angle is within the range minus 180 to 180. We can even do an else here because if it's not, if it's lower than, a, when the minus, than minus 180, then it's going to be definitely not bigger than 180 next in, in here so there we go limit the angle difference with the maximum angular velocity with dt which is we're gonna be needing the, the delta time because this is an angular velocity and thus we have to consider the time We clamp this maximum difference and then
we remove that part because we don't we're not going to be using that so we're not going to convert the angle back to degrees back to radians sorry so angle d is going to be angle div dex times back to rad and with that we can and with that and then calculate the final angle current angle plus equals angle diff current calculate the aim direction so that's what we do we use a float um, Sign current angle plus angle and with these we have the, the uh, a direction with this we have the aim interaction which is cool we that's that's what we have to aim the last thing to do is let the to rep aim in that direction. So basically we aim to the, in that direction and with the 0, 1, 0 uh, as the up vector. That seems is fine. Let's see if it works. It looks like it works. Yeah, it's working, which is great. Yeah, it feels a bit sluggish, which is cool. It takes a little bit to aim to the right position. Yeah, very good. That's exactly what we wanted. Great. Of course, if we increase this speed, for instance, for the player, tank to 360, then it's going to feel a lot faster. It's not still in immediate, but it feels a lot faster. And maybe we want to keep this for the player or something bigger than the one we want for the AI. But for the time being, we're going to leave it in 90, as same for AI and the player. So, anyway, this is what we've done. We have um, we have implemented the aiming with a mouse, and we have added some velocity to the turret so that it feels sluggish, so that the turret doesn't turn immediately towards the point that we want. Instead, it tries to go to that point, but it doesn't go immediately. It uses a maximum velocity that we have defined in the shooting component. Next, uh, in our next video, we will we will implement the AI aiming and shooting, and uh, and that will be the last one about AI. And then from there on, we'll move to the camera. We'll try to do. Um, a camera that follows us from the top and maybe even later we'll do a camera that follows us from uh, from a uh, third person perspective i hope you guys liked it and hope to see you again in the next video bye